in this video, I'm going to show you one of the most effective passing formations in Madden 23, and that is the white off trips pats formation. You can find this in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. We're going to be showing you in this video kind of some really good setups that you can start using today that are still going to be very effective in Madden 23. And the first play that I thought I'd break down out of the U-Trips formation is the play Y option wheel. Now, if you want to learn my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, you can get that by joining my Patreon. For just $10, you'll be able to get the entire U-Trips offense broken down in depth, exactly what you need to know to run it at a very high level. And a lot of those concepts still carry over into Madden 23. And I think U-Trips is going to be one of the better offenses in Madden 23 because of the fact that it's going to be a more ball control style offense being able to hit the underneath passing windows as they open up. And so in this video, like I said, I just wanted to go over one of my favorite plays out of U-Trips with you guys, and that is the play Y option wheel. And we're going to show it to you uh, specifically against kind of every meta coverage or every uh, key coverage you're going to find. Now, what I like about this U-Trips formation is the spacing that you have with this and how it can basically attack um, the meta. Another thing that I really like about it is you have a tight end on one side and a running back on another side, and you can turn this into a double set with effective motion um, if you would like to. So the setup is really simple here. All we're going to do is we're going to hitch the outside or the slot receiver. We're going to zig the outside receiver. And then I actually like to keep this tight end on his route. And the reason why is because if it's man to man, he's going to run a deep out. It's a pretty good man beater. If it's zone, he's just going to simply curl um, for us right in the middle of the field, which is, which is great against zone. And then the last adjustment is we're going to flat this outside receiver or the solo receiver here on the left. This is going to create a spacing concept that will literally beat every single coverage in the game. You as a player just need to simply make the right read. And against cover four, my favorite route to consistently hit is this out route right here. If they're playing those curl flat style zones, you need to be willing to check it down underneath to your out route or to your hitch. Let me show you how this play works against cover three. If you're gonna play cover three, and again, it's fairly simple to set up. Let me see here, here's the adjustments. If you are playing cover three, you'll see right here that they're gonna to have to choose, are they gonna guard that tight end curl, or are they gonna guard the hitch to the slot receiver, as you can see right here. And then if it's cover two, cover two to me is one of the better ways that they can defend this. Uh, but what makes this so good is this wheel right on the left side. You'll see here that against this defense, you see the yellows again suck up, and we're able to hit this route to Johnson. I want to show you another really popular defense um, and I think you're going to find, and that is a shaded down cover two, but they're going to recloud these outside guys. This is a very good coverage. It's probably one of the best coverages going into Madden 23 because of how good cloud flats, or I'm sorry, how good vert hooks they're going to play next, next year. What you'll see with this is if we can hit this zig on the sideline because they're not playing hard flats and we're going to force them to have to again come down and play really aggressive underneath coverage which is going to open up our deep passing game so here i'm going to shade down both of these vert hooks and um, play some hard flats and what you'll notice with this is now we're going to have this wheel route right in a nice little tender spot against the zone really the wheel route has to be usered it's what makes then it's really what makes and breaks this play they have their user has to go over here let me show you why this could be a problem so let's say that this is their user right here and they need to use the running back so i'm going to run at the running back to try to stop him what this is going to do even if they are in a good cover two coverage is now our backside concept is wide open because the zone in the middle of the field is no longer there and we can take our tight end curl. Now I said that this play is also really effective against man-to-man -man coverage and I'll show you why it is. It's primarily because of this wheel and it's also because of this route to Gronkowski. Now in Madden 22, if you're gonna throw this wheel, you wanna low ball this and pass lead inside and aggressive catch it makes it one of the best route, probably the best route in the game this year but i do want to give you a quick coaching point let's say that you're running this in madden 23 wheel routes are not as good but there are still some really key ways that you can throw these consistently against man 
And really all that is, is we're just gonna outside pass lead him right on the cut. So as soon as he cuts, we're not gonna low ball it because we know in Madden 23 that low balls are really not that good. Um, but once he cuts to the outside, we're just gonna pass lead that outside. And as you can see in Madden 22, it's a little bit of a disconnect but you can still throw these routes against man to man in madden 22 it just takes a little bit of a nuance um, in terms of instead of throwing them inside now we want to lead them to the outside but the main thing i want to show you on this is if it is truly man to man your tight end will be a nice little deep out route that will consistently beat man coverage um, pretty much every year this is one of the best man beaters every year any route to the tight end is always really good against man to man and what i like about this a lot is like i said again it, it's an option route so against man you're going to get this nice little route to cut all the way to the outside as you can see right there and it really kind of gets behind those uh, you know those those players now another thing that I do want to show you just for fun is if you are if they are running a lot more man on you, um, a simple thing you can do is you can actually put the running back on an option route. And now what you'll see here, it's really good out of U trips. As you can see, that route just torches um, the coverage, the man coverage. And so really, you only need, in my opinion, two good man beaters, two really solid man beaters. Because let's be honest, how are they going to stop this play with man to man? Well, they're going to put two purples out here, of course. Well, if they put two purples out here, let me just show you why this play is so good. Because again, we've got these flat zone, flat routes that are pulling these flats out. And so we can low ball them right on the cut. Again, I had a little bit of a bad pass lead there, but we can throw them right on the cut before they get to the yellow zone. Um, or I'm sorry, before they get to the purple zone. I'll show you what I'm getting at here. So I'll just put two purples out. It's a little bit easier to see with the option route. And so with this option route, you see here, just low ball right there. And as you can see, it beats the man coverage. And then on the right side, you're going to get kind of a similar idea. So I'll just, you know, shade my coverage and, you know, kind of get it set up the way, you know, anyone that knows their stuff would run man to man this year and do something like this. You can also smart route this option route. It's actually really good against man and zone. Um, but what you'll see here, just kind of low ball that in the, a really small little tender spot against that now i will say i'm not going to lie to you and say this is absolutely incredible against man if they're going to run man every play you might not want to run this but it's good enough against man to still be able to beat it while it's also incredible against zone and so they really have to overextend to be able to stop this simple play and what this allows us to do is now create a nice little concept off of it that essentially looks the same a play like y option wheel where we can take the tight end and put him on an out. We can put Johnson on a flat and motion him to the left side. And now what you're going to see is this play starts to get really good because now if they're going to play underneath, we're going to hit them over the top. I want to thank you for watching this video. And I just want to remind you, if you want to learn more about the U-Trips offense, make sure to join our Patreon. That's where you can get my full U-Trips offensive ebook. It's only $10 to sign up. It includes a ton of other resources to help you become a better Madden player. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my U-Trips ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description.